It is time for some outdoor news in regards to Walmart, Moose Jaw, and their brand of lithic tents. It wasn't all that long ago and I was talking about Walmart and Moose Jaw and their exclusive line of products that they were bringing to the market. Amongst those products, we had the Lithic brand, which featured tents, backpacks, stoves, cook sets, and more. Since doing that initial story, I purchased roughly $400 worth of gear from Walmart to test out here for the channel. I received a one-person backpacking tent, I received a backpack, a sleeping bag, and a stove. I got the items in, I began taking a look at the Lithic one-person tent, and right from the get-go, I had had an issue. One of the pull clips was broken when I received the tent. As I was setting it up, I discovered this. Once I got done filming the video, I was breaking down the tent, I took a pull clip off of a pole, and another broke. At that point in time, I issued a warning in regards to purchasing one of these tents because there could be an issue with those pole clips. After the initial setup, I did instigate a return, and I received a replacement tent, I mean, literally one day later after filing that claim. I received the replacement tent even before I sent out the original tent. That's how fast the shipping was. It's been roughly three weeks since I received the replacement tent and things have changed in regards to the lithic tents. They are simply no longer available. You cannot purchase them at Walmart and you cannot purchase them at Moose Jaw. They are gone, they are off of the market. This tells me one of two things. Either Walmart is taking a look at their products to make sure that there aren't any issues or there are issues there and they are going back and they are correcting these problems. Now, it is my hope that these tents will come back out onto the market. There is a serious need for good quality, very inexpensive backpacking gear. But the quality has to be good, folks. Even if the price has to go up just a little bit so that you could stay dry, you could stay protected, it is worth it. And that's what these companies need to realize. There's so many companies out there who are cutting corners so they can pump out these very inexpensive products and they simply cannot protect the user. What good is a tent if it can't protect you from the elements? Now, with the Walmart Lithic one-person tent, I did get this out into a rainstorm. It was a long-term rain event, and the tent did very well. And with that being said, I have a message for Walmart and Moose Jaw. Please bring out a good quality product. People need this. Not everybody needs to spend three, four, five hundred dollars on a tent. There is a market, there is a need for a tent that costs less than a hundred bucks but the quality has to be there. It has to protect the user. If you all are making changes to these tents and you want someone to test them out, send them to me. I have a warning though. I will be very honest about it, just as I am with any product that I review. Now this story is not 100% over because I did receive an email from Walmart and this is after I received the replacement tent. I will paraphrase this to get through this for you all. But it says, thank you very much for your recent order from Walmart. Unfortunately, it's come to our attention that the lithic tent is not up to our quality of standards. We know this is a disappointing customer experience and we apologize for the issue. If you haven't received a refund yet, you can expect one soon. It goes on to say, do not send back the tent. It is yours to keep or dispose of. This is not indicative of the item quality we strive to provide and we'll continue to improve the experience. What I pick up on from this email is that there are issues with the lithic tents, namely those pole clips. So again, I hope they're going back to the drawing board. They're replacing those with something more substantial. Obviously, there's an issue here. Hopefully, they're correcting it. And hopefully, these tents will come back out onto the market better than ever. With the testing that I've done already with the lithic one-person tent and the videos that I've done already, I did throw out some suggestions which Moose Jaw and Walmart should take to make this a better product. Of course, it's up to them, and folks, we shall see what changes take place in the future. Let me ask you all this. What do you all think about this development in regards to Walmart and Moose Jaw? The lithic tents are no longer on the market. Is that because of the Outdoor Gear Review and my 100% agenda-free review process? Probably so. Probably so. I would love to hear from you all now. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about this story. For this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, that is it. Take care, strength, and honor. See you all around. Bye.